Hey guys, uh, it's me just popping in real quick before we start the episode. Just wanted to say if you check the description for the episode wherever you're listening and or watching it, you'll see a link to a survey. Um, basically, me and the guys have been discussing potentially starting a Patreon, but we can't do it without your support or knowing that we're providing you guys the content that you want. So, uh, please take the survey, answer as seriously as possible. The more people that answer and the more data we get, the more we can see what you guys actually want us to do, if you even want us to do it, and if it's even worth it for us or you. So... Uh, click that link. It's in the description. And uh, let us know what you think and uh, enjoy the episode. Thanks, guys. Bye. You're listening to Reviewing History, your comedy history podcast. I'm filmmaker and teacher Brian Rupert, joined here by... As always, Stephen Aglach. And... Angie. And we have a very yep. special guest here today. The one, the only, <laughs> actually the fifth, Frank. Frank Fox. Yes, thank you. <laughs> a return. Did you yes. plan that or did you come up with that on the spot? I think you could tell from how disjointed it was. It was clearly off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Which said it was his nicest interview uh, introduction I've ever received. So... <laughs> I, I think my it. my first one for you is pretty uh, flowery as well. I don't remember it. When we did the driven, yeah, yeah. When we well, oh, okay. I've decided that certain people have like different roles when we call them in. So like, <laughs> I, was I'm our starting black, to see that. Yeah, yeah. was our black, black correspondent. correspondent. Yeah. Right. Frank yeah. is our car guy. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> so when we're, when we're dealing with automobiles, we're calling him Frank. He's our car expert. I love it. Let's do Gremlins next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least do something he wants to do. <laughs> Wait, Gremlins like. The Mogwais? Either one. Because Wait, is there a movie about gremlins? Like the car? The car? You never heard of the gremlin? I don't know. Probably. I've heard of it. I didn't know there was a movie. I thought like <laughs> I thought Frank was about to tell. There's me a lot a of like about newer it. movies coming out about cars. Oh, Have you yeah. noticed that? Like it's Ford versus Ferrari. Yeah, that was a big one. It's, it's having like Talladega a resurgence. Nights. <laughs> <laughs> We could have done one of those, but instead uh, we're doing this. Well, one of I our never listeners. Never heard of this. Me neither. I heard of it randomly not too long ago i was in up movies based on true stories and i saw this one and yeah. you know we had no plans to do this someone emailed it yeah. was a perfect storm of emails and lack right. of preparation on yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that was our fault and it was like <laughs> okay yeah someone said this so here we go we'll do tucker tucker the man in his dream or is it Tucker, a man in his Tucker, dream? Tucker, I don't know. You tell me. You have a laptop. I always mix it's it a up. Man. I think it's Tucker. No, man it's in his dream. I honestly it's think Tucker uh, on X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of why it and bombed. and welcome to Preston Tucker tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the car manufacturers would have you believe the best way to have an automobile is two lights. But why not three? <laughs> <laughs> What are they keeping from, from us? <laughs> I think that's why this bombs. We're been... just asking questions. <laughs> the name is so ridiculously long. Like, it's a horrible name. Yeah. Tucker, a manager. It really doesn't inspire anyone to no. go watch it. No. No. It sounds like, you know what? I, it, I was about to say, it sounds like, like a 1950s informational film. It but wants that's that what it's going for. Mm -hmm. yes. So I guess it worked. Yeah. In that sense. Yeah. But you don't know that <laughs> beforehand, so you're kind of just like, I don't want to want to give this a chance. This sounds silly. It's I, I yeah. hated I hated it. I hated <laughs> this movie so much. Have that you seen it before? I've seen it multiple times. I've seen it <laughs> two times for pre preparation for this, wow. and then one time like when it came out, and then one other time I think it was on TV. But I was watching it on the internet, and during the watching it, they had commercials for deodorant that I guess you could put down your crotch to mm -hmm. make yourself smell good oh, nice. those were more enjoyable to me than this movie was i would much rather it's, watch and your this. crotch is smelling great it's, it's wonderful funny you bring up the ads because i was watching it on amazon and i saw the same aids medication uh commercial about eight times isn't it better it was better than the movie though right <laughs> it was romantic i'll yes. tell you that with people holding hands smiling 
<laughs> they were happy. They had AIDS and they were happier than yeah. we were watching this movie. And gee, don't get upset about this. Uh, Brian shared it to us for free. Actually, both movies that we're going to record today. Oh, this no, this was free. It oh, just it was had free? ads. Yeah, oh, well, it was on free. Amazon. Yeah, it was. I didn't see it on Amazon. Huh. Yeah, it was there. It's free oh. V. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, nineteen eighty-eight, great year. Yeah, one of the best years. <laughs> yeah, you were bored. Yeah. <laughs> I I do like like I I liked the movie. I didn't love it, but I, I you know I thought it was kind of inoffensive, and I thought it looks great. I liked the movie. I thought it was yeah. fine. It wanted to be JFK and wasn't. I don't think it wanted to be JFK. Well, it's Francis Ford Coppola bitching about movie making. Yeah. That's what it really Ooh. is. It's Francis Ford Coppola. He's Tucker. And, he's and the studio is just trying to keep him down. Exactly. And he's talking about the movie industry. Because at this point, he had a couple of movies that weren't like great hits. And they kind of suffered from studio interference. I this was drop, one of them. Uh, yeah, so one, I might drop this a point for just because how fucking pretentious that is. Well, I kind of so, like that. So there's there's one from the heart. Did you ever see that? No. It's like this Vegas musical that he did that flopped horribly. Uh, the studio like fucked with it and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's Rumble Fish. <laughs> That's famous. Uh, the Cotton Club. He sucks at picking names. Peggy Sue got well, the married. God, the which, Godfather didn't do it for you? Yeah. <laughs> Peggy Sue got <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> Peggy Sue fuck, got married, man? did well, but I think he yeah. was kind of frustrated with studios and doing this, and His I job. think that's what the movie is really ultimately about. Mm. He ended up apologizing for this too. Really, this movie? Yeah. Well, this was a flop. Yeah, it was yeah. horse shit. Yeah, <laughs> completely. Yeah. <laughs> He's not also, wrong. It's also a Lucas film. Well, and here's the thing. So, like, I looked here? into it. It's like, why the fuck are they doing a movie about Tucker? They both own Tuckers. Lucas uh, and Coppola both own Tucker. Sense. Coppola's wow. dad was one of the people who, like, an early stockholder of Tucker. Of Tucker, uh, and he owned the car. It's like the family car. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, so it all wow. made sense. So that's why they did it. And he had been trying to make a Tucker movie since like the 1970s. Huh. I had never heard of the Tucker before the other day. Okay. Yeah, How either. about you guys? No, no. I didn't until I looked it up. The first time I saw Tucker was I texted Frank being like, have you heard of this movie? What do you think? <laughs> what was my reply? It's horse shit. Yeah, he, he's like, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and then he sent me the Tucker. And you were like, uh, you were kind of saying you thought it was an ugly car. Yes. I love the look of it. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's ugly. Cool. I think the, the I safety like features were phenomenal and everything was ahead of its time. I think to look at it, it just... I didn't like the front of it. I didn't like the three headlight deal. It's what the 50s thought the future would be. Yeah. It's like yes. 50s art deco. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. it. But the 40s, rather. Right. I got I have so much to say about it. I have so much. From an engineering perspective, it, this whole thing bothered the ever loving shit out of me. <laughs> Cause I, I've worked in like not not like building things like uh, physical, but like building software. So it's like software engineering and engineering uh -huh. kind of goes hand in hand. Like the one thing you don't want to do is promise a lot of things that you can't deliver on at that due date. It's like a, a an insane rule that you should not do it. Right? Well, that's a marketing issue, isn't it? Uh, no, I mean, it's it's, it's, if, it's you're lying. C, if your CEO <laughs> comes out and says like, we're going to have A, B, C, D, E, mm -hmm. and you haven't built a single one, most right. people in that company are probably, now it is, are probably going to quit. Yeah, you should always under promise and over deliver. Yes. Like I did on my honeymoon. Yes. Same thing. Yeah. Under promise, over deliver. Yeah. So does Mary. No. That's a very Scotty attitude. Yeah. If he would have just been like, we're going to give you a good car that's like low gas mileage and not promise all those things, it probably would have actually succeeded more than he did. Well, um, I came to find out the Tucker is kind of perfectly placed to be successful because, yes. uh, you know, this is coming right out of World War II. And for the duration of the war, all the car manufacturers in the United States were switched over to war materials. So they were building mm -hmm. things like planes and tanks and Jeeps. Well, he was. Well, yeah, he was, he, he was part of that. Yeah. But no new cars had come out there since no before the war. Mm -hmm. And the big three car companies who are, uh, what? Chevrolet, G Ford. Ford. I don't think it's Chevy. It's, it's Ford, it's GM, GM, and uh, Chrysler. Chrysler. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, they were planning to just repackage old models and call them the 48s. That's what you know, they did. The 47s, yeah. right. And he is the only guy saying, I'm coming up with something that's moved forward. That's something new. Mm -hmm. And he comes in and is ready to take over the entire And it's also market. like the focus of how they were developing their cars. 
all their focus was speed, more powerful engines. Like, mm-hmm. that's what the big three were doing. And he's like, well, why don't we have a really fast engine and, like, make it safe? And, right. like, all these other advanced ideas. Not to mention, how often do people even go past a certain miles per hour, especially back then. Like, you don't even have the interstate highway system. Mm -hmm. Like, any road is going to allow you to go, like, a maximum of 40 miles per hour. Let's be honest. Oh, it's your Tucker to Tank going 90 with his family. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) To go get ice cream. To go get ice cream, which... Sorry, yeah. if you like that man out the gate, you're a fool. That's like the most American <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Let's get in the it family really is, tank. But he he must hate his family. I like <laughs> how he's <laughs> a, like everyone knows it's him and what he's doing, and he just evades the police. And they're like, "Yeah, what do we do?" Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> old Tucker being fast and almost it's like the killing nine hazard, people. You know? Yeah. Like, uh. Oh, I that hate Tucker him. at it I again. Hate him. I hate him. <laughs> He's just eccentric. I hate him as a person. As a person, I really dislike him to the core. Why do you hate yeah, Tucker? I didn't like him either. Oh In the God. movie, yeah. I didn't we'll like him. We'll go through it. We'll right? go through it. I love him. I think he's great. <laughs> we got to see you guys gotta switch <laughs> seats. I hate you guys. Wrong side of the table. <laughs> Come on. Well, I don't blame you for that. Yeah. <laughs> We're very hateful. <laughs> Should we dive in? Sure. Yeah. Let's dive. Yeah, do you right. tiger? Come on. So the yeah. movie opens with like almost like old school, like Buena Vista, like title card mm, where it's yeah. like, you know, and then they do the whole 50s uh, style, like, it, ah, it's, narration. it's, it's 40s, Chaka. yeah. 40s. I like the narrator, it reminded me of uh, the like the Wheel of Progress and like Hershey Park and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly what it kind of the or, vibe the Carousel of Progress, excuse me. And the movie doesn't really cover Tucker's early life, which mm. I think is kind of interesting, like. He was um, a cop at first, and like they found out he was young. He got kicked off the force. (laughs) Then he became old enough to be a cop, and he was working like a late night in like Chicago, and he was freezing in the cop car, (laughs) and he took a blowtorch, and he like rigged the the cop car so where the engine heat would come into the car and like keep the car warm in Chicago, Mm -hmm. and they fired him for it. They were like, you modified the cop (laughs) car. You can't do this. Mm. That's brilliant. Yeah. And Wouldn't that have poisoned them at some point? Hopefully. <laughs> well, that's what you would Details. Want. Yeah. <laughs> that is how he died, I think. He died of cancer. Lung cancer. Lung cancer. <laughs> well, <laughs> they Guys, don't show it in the movie. Much later. <laughs> he, he, but he was warm. That's how people kill themselves. He's, he's smoking every 10 seconds. Yeah, that's true. So in real life, I don't think they show this in the movie, he went and worked at the Indianapolis 500 with um, Henry Miller, who was like a car guy. Mm-hmm. Name some of my other manufacturers. Miller. M- Mule. A lot of names. Cole. <laughs> no one understands that <laughs> reference. There's but, definitely a few. But they, um, the, he like develops engines with him and stuff. World War II starts, and the movie does mention this. He designed a super fast tank. Yes. And it was a battle fast, car. Though. It's not even a tank. Yeah. It's like an armored car armored with a car. turret on it. It was too fast. And I agree. Sorry, you're too damn fast. <laughs> I agree. Well, in a in a combat situation, you don't want speed. You don't need your you know mm-hmm. your one part of the military moving way ahead of the yeah. other. Well, what if you had like a thousand of those just going really fast down? They could be cut off. Yeah, you know, you could be encircled. Yeah, you don't want to move faster than that your main force. And if you have some like tanks, you have to keep you keep up with because they're slow. If those armored cars went too fast. Too far ahead, or maybe the person got scared and took something. Th- like, if you get scared in a tank, you're you're gonna take a little bit of time. You get scared in an armored car, you're driving <laughs> away and you're leaving guys behind. Like, it's not ideal. See, it's I, not wanted, ideal. I want. Like, I, 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 I didn't know you just you're just immediately. That's what I was thinking. Putting of. the military. Oh, they're all cowards. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make it because of desertion. It, is yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, I, escape is too easy. The way I think about it is, if I could think about it, I'm sure there's situ- like a little a laundry list of things that's like no, no, and that's probably one of them. Like you could you could leave easier and like no, don't don't let them run away. <laughs> Steve's new character, Steve Upham. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I Upham? <laughs> I want to be Brooklyn. And he, <laughs> and he designed the the Tucker turret, which they went on to use, right? Yeah, yeah. that was like the yeah. one design that they actually ended up which running is with. actually a great piece of machinery that's can you is. explain it yeah as in the b17 right mm-hmm. i mean i didn't really look too much into it but it's it's a ball it's a ball turret with right. like quote unquote bulletproof glass mm-hmm. um and it swivels so you have full 360 um capability uh, nobody liked being in the turrets in the b17 they actually hated it it's probably one of the worst jobs in the gunship <laughs> 
It's well, like hell. <laughs> I heard the Pope wanted to have one installed in the Pope box. <laughs> no, really? No, but that's what I oh, think when he I should. Mm, yeah. When I see the metal dome. Oh, you uh, ever see? That's uh, what I'm just reminded the of. The Pope mobile. Yeah. yeah. You ever see uh, the show Love, Love, Death, and Zombies? Love, Death, and Robots. Love, Love Death, Robots. Um, the zombie episode. There's a Pope mobile with a mounted machine gun, like shooting zombies. It's cool. <laughs> I, it's perfect for that. Yeah. You may be onto something here. <laughs> But uh, so the movie, right? His car was too fast. He brings home 15 Dalmatians. You're confused. The family's confused. He's an exaggerated character. Yeah. yeah. Brings He's eccentric. Nothing. He's crazy. But he, he shows his family like, here's the future. Look at this drawing. <laughs> like, Even though I just design. traded the car away for dogs, I want you to now look right, at this. Right. What right. I got in mind. And they're like, wow. And there's, there, I guess his factory was like in his front yard. It's his uh, garage. Yeah. So. And he bamboozled, bamboozled the Jewish guy to come home with him. Abe. <laughs> yeah. Abe's a character. <laughs> uh, he says a few things that I actually Martin wanted Landau, Frank's opinion right? on for yeah. this. Because right out, right out the gate, he's like, these are the features that I'm putting in this car because of how it should be. Right? The engine is in the rear. Right? We have seatbelts and safety features. The second he's like, the engine is in the rear because that's how it should be. I was like, should it? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Isn't the DeLorean a rear engine? Yes. But that doesn't make it like it should be because there comes some problems with that. Pushing right? a car seems to be more dangerous. Like it'd be prone to flipping over. But I don't know. Oh, it's I, oversteering. I, it seems like a lot of like sports cars and cars that go fast, they usually put the engines in the rear. I just think it's it's easier easier to control. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I think like one of the- boat. One of the risks was over, <laughs> oversteering for the, the average person because, like you said, it, with more control becomes more mistakes. Okay. And then also, when you think about air intake, um, they didn't have, like, a water cooling system on this thing yet. So if you put the engine in the back, you have to build, like, an advanced air intake system. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can't cool the, the engine effectively. So it's a little bit – at this time, it's not the most effective way. He also built – um. He invented the fuel injector, right? It wasn't a thing yet. I don't know. Right? I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, I thought, it, no, the combustion engines exist. There's planes in the air. Yeah, but I saw the <laughs> fuel injector uh, for... Um, so what? Are you saying they had to crank the cars before that? No. No, it's like a separate thing that brings in gas, right? right the, instead of a carburetor, you would have a fuel injector? Yeah. In this Because yeah, a lot of the yeah. older cars had carbs, mm -hmm. carburetors. And that's one of the bigger failures is that instead of a fuel injector, they had to put two carburetors just to like get it to run so his entire design phase of this was such a failure he shouldn't have gone past it but it's not a failure he got it done but he put in a helicopter engine he didn't even build his own engine yeah but that's but so that, what now you run into patent problems too y'all don't know about engineering but it's not <laughs> did, he, did he buy the did he buy the company i think he more he, yeah, he had to buy the so, company yeah. in order to do it but that's the thing like, which was made up by where i live really the frank yeah franklin um, so real quick, these are the innovations that of uh, the Tucker. Yeah, magnesium oh. wheels, disc brakes, fuel mm -hmm. injection, self-sealing uh, tubeless. Uh, Stem bolts, yeah. Stembles, yeah. Self-sealing <laughs> uh, tubeless tires and a direct drive torque converter transmission. And that didn't work either, right? They were all evaluated. Like all of them and are tested. problems. Yeah. But they're still things that became yep. standard. standard. Yeah, right. He was ahead of his time, and honestly, he is fighting an uphill battle the entire time because well, the world is trying to destroy. It's him. trying yeah. to stop him from accomplishing his goal, right? Yeah. You know, which makes it impossible for him to do what he's trying to do. Basically, mm -hmm. yeah. At least at the scale in which he wanted to do it, because you you don't flaunt your shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't buy the world's biggest factory when you don't yeah. need it. Don't flaunt like that because you're gonna just it's you're on the radar now. Why are you doing this? He made for all his good decisions. He made a lot of bad ones. Oh yeah, you know. And he should have just been an engineer and let somebody else run the fucking company. That's what he should have been. But he wants to be his own boss. You yeah. know, it's like. But he clearly can't. Why he, not? He's own. The only reason he can't do his shit is because the government, the, the right. big business and federal government, decided to destroy this man's life once Crowley again. <laughs> but, but at his own hand. But at his own hand. What do you mean? He sells. He, he wants the company right. to be big. They need stock because they can't get the money up because they don't have the correct prototypes and they can't show anything. He sells the company. He doesn't sell the company. He takes on investors. Yes, investors that, have creative control. 
All Done. before, all before a car was even built. Yeah, so he's selling I'm dealerships. Horrible. He's selling stock. He's selling all the stuff before a car That's was a even there. That's a poor businessman. I'm and sorry. And then he took money from the war department in order to buy this factory. Right. So now he's indebted to them to make sure this car is done. He should have just built the car in his backyard, have the car, and then show he's it. He's an off. engineer. That's what. Yes. I, I, yes. I, thank you. I understand. <laughs> There's that, two yes, guys here that maybe, are fucking stupid. Maybe, <laughs> no. This is, you guys are so wrong. So, <laughs> I understand there's a certain level of showmanship and uh, maybe some underhanded business dealings in, get, in making things happen. <laughs> but once things do happen, he delivers on what he's promised. That is literally how business and works. And they're stopping Incorrect. him from yeah. they're stopping him from accessing materials. Right. Like they went He's been sabotaged on every level. Yeah, and no, then I, I know they that. just blatantly lie and drag him through the courts. Yes. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's evil <laughs> afoot. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm talking about the man himself and the decisions he made actually caused him to fail more than I think you did Every, anything. I Every, think it would have been harder if he had the car built and then showed everybody this car and right. then was getting Look screwed. at the features that yes. we figured out. Now invest because now there's we're going to no, make more. We're, not only are we going to make more cars, they work and we're going to eat. We're, this is it. You can't sell a product before it's built. Video games do this nowadays, and I'm telling you, 100% of the time they fail. But isn't that like a Kickstarter? 100%. No. I will say this. Because you at least have a proof of concept with Kickstarters. His proof of concept was a fake car. To do it the way you're saying would take a very long time. And if you're going to jump on all the decommissioned factories that are coming back online after the war, you need to move fast. You don't you need, need the to biggest grab one. Things. You don't need the biggest one, maybe, but you could need a factory. Yeah, he happened you, to get the biggest you, one. Yeah, but if you're you need, gonna, if you can get you the biggest car one, to build why not first? get the biggest one? But you need a car to build first because it. He, he, that's what I mean. That's a bad decision. He shot himself in the foot with that multiple times. Four hundred seventy-five acre factory. That's crazy. <laughs> Who needs that for a that? car that isn't even built? That, right. that they're building in his garage right now. They don't even have a production line set <laughs> up to build for the factory. Yeah. So it's like, why did you like? I I understand you need space, but that's a poor, he was a bad businessman. That's what I mean. You can't disagree with that. And a liar. I, and a liar. He may be a liar. He would have been investigated a bad no matter man. what. No. No matter what, he was getting investigated. That car would have been a massive hit. Yeah. That is my contention. If he was if a good businessman, yeah. If he didn't get shut down, they were a week from like automating the yeah. process completely. But they already scammed a lot of people. But it, uh, wasn't well, it wasn't a scam. No, no, no. It's no, just it would have taken time for them to no, make money back on their investment. No, they scammed people at first. That's a, that was actually one of the main... They made in the promises true story, in the true story. that had not been delivered on. They were, they were never given the opportunity parts. to deliver on that product. They were selling car parts for a car that didn't exist. You can't do that. How could you do that so without being investigated? Guilty. <laughs> yeah. They ripped all this apart and decided there was that, no wrongdoing. But you still have to... <laughs> yeah, they still have to investigate it because it's like, why are there 100 people that you sold car parts to with no car? What are you doing? You can't. You can't just sell fake stuff. I'm a Tucker man. I'm down with you. <laughs> we're 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 men with his dream. <laughs> you know, I got yeah, too close. Vessels. Yeah, <laughs> I got too close, and I and the, I caught his dream. <laughs> <laughs> I got close and caught something else. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw a commercial that could help yeah. you. Out. <laughs> I love that this is becoming contentious, and the movie is like the most like we optimistic, have to. upbeat thing. Yeah, because if we just do the movie, it's gonna be like, eh. yeah, <laughs> it's boring. What the hell are we even talking about? We haven't gotten into this at all. We're talking about things that people <laughs> who haven't watched it. the movie would have no fucking clue what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll know soon, and then you can make your own. Go right. watch it. It's on Pluto. Yeah. <laughs> when you watch this after the show, after we discuss the movie, tell us which side you're on. But we already know Frank and I are correct. <laughs> are you on Team Tucker or the correct side? Right. <laughs> right, right. Big business will conspire against oh my you. <laughs> so he uh, he decides to send an advertisement out for his new car. And this is what he really did. That doesn't exist. Yeah. But it's it, what he's showing is a mock-up as like as like um concept art basically yeah but it but no 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 it's not concept art he he is making it he's not saying that it's a concept he is making it seem like they have the car yeah he put an ad in the magazine yeah so that people were like i want that car. which was a pack of lies yes, yes. Yeah. not once i mean even you know elon musk is nuts but even he was like you know we don't have the car yet but this is what we want to have it right. 
Right. You know, when he did the cyber. He's truck. not going to sell yeah, stock did, did on he, that. Didn't he pull out a cyber truck and like the window got smashed? Yes. 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 Right? So yeah. that's why like I didn't fault Tucker when they were doing the car show yeah. and there were all this stuff going wrong with it because, yeah, it's a prototype. But he definitely made it seem like we've got this car. It's, done. it's right it's here. Yeah. You guys want to buy the car? It we got it. Ass. And all yeah. he's got is a piece of paper with a drawing on it. We're selling stock. But he has he's selling a dream, yeah, he's but selling just not telling people it's a dream. Right. Right. That's he's a man Tucker. with a dream. Well, that's all he's got. That's all he's got. Fuck his dream. Dreams don't fucking run on gas. And they don't pay the bills. <laughs> they don't pay the bills. Wow. There's a couple of frigging guys waking uh, up here. Even man. Martin Landau <laughs> knew. Yeah. Abe knew. Abe was like, wow. no. And he was 100 when this movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> couple of cynics. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Tucker's grandkids are still alive. We should go in. Uh, yeah. like punch tro- them. <laughs> We should go sell them. (laughs) Let's sell them our new Patreon. (laughs) Let's sell them our new Patreon content. Don't put out anything. The SEC finally gets to us. We put out two episodes. (laughs) See, we got them. There you go. That's what they did. And it's like, yeah, see? It's like, no, fuck you, dude. Caveat emptor. (laughs) Oh, my God. Buyer beware. (laughs) (laughs) Caveat emptor, Ray. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, so, Martin Lando, yeah, he plays well, Abe. So this article is a real article that they put in, I think, scientific, uh, some sort of scientific journal, right? Am I correct? I don't know. Cars yeah, it's like a car magazine or something. Some <laughs> magazine. That up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you if you just said no, it's real, I would have believed you. I would have been like, yeah, cars monthly. Yeah, <laughs> Completely makes sense. Yeah, subscribe to it. Yeah. And, it's a great periodical. <laughs> <laughs> and Preston Tucker. Is like I'm gonna be the anti Ford. I'm gonna work with Jews <laughs> <laughs> and actually build a car, or yeah. not build a car. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it was his downfall. <laughs> <laughs> that it wasn't the Jews' fault. <laughs> My people, we did our job, right? <laughs> so. Uh, so he goes to I keep wanting to call him Abe Vigoda because Abe is the <laughs> it's no, that uh, Martin Landau right yeah, the other Martin friends Landau. Landau. Oh, no. it's yeah. Abe yeah <laughs> he, he's talking to like investors and he's trying to it seems like he's trying to raise capital to get this car made for him right yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah. You know, he's going to people like gas stations. But he realizes later on that he was also lied to. Yeah, because even Martin Landau was, was like, you don't have a car? Yeah. Like, like he, why he was are you under making the impression that, I don't know why he would be under the impression that there right. was already a car built. Maybe because Tucker said that they had a car. Yeah. <laughs> and it comes to play later on. because I feel like a lot of it is Tucker <laughs> calling his shot. Yeah. It's Tucker you know? lying. That's all it is. It's just Tucker lying until it gets done, which is not the way you build things. That's how like he's shit faking goes it until he makes yeah, it. Yeah, I'm with Tucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just I get keep it. pretending I get it. and get it done later. <laughs> <laughs> it's how Brian runs the sh- program. It's how we run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch know my <laughs> dream, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna catch these fucking fists by the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> So violent. Right? Your dream is a cancer. It's not <laughs> contagious, but it's very bad. <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> so uh, there's this one line, which is it adds nothing to the movie. I think it's supposed to be like um, kind of character development for Tucker. So the audience is like, what a great guy. He has a Japanese guy working for him. Yes. And is it yeah. Marin Landa who's like, why do you have a, a Jap here? Yeah. yeah. Right? He's like, aren't and they he's in like, camps? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, his family's in a camp, but he's like a good guy. He's with me. Basically. Right. He's like, yeah. uh, his his wife and kids are in a camp. Does that make you feel better? And it's like, yeah, Tucker's, Tucker's all about- He shamed him. Yeah. Yeah. He shamed him for worrying that the Japanese, our, our enemy, might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, what year is this taking place? Is the war I over? I believe it's 45 uh, at that point in the Yeah. Film. Okay. Because the yeah. war was still on. Oh, and that's another thing. The movie takes place over one year. In reality, the Tucker, like, from, like, the magazine until, like, the end of the trial was a five-year period. Mm-hmm. So the movie really condenses the timeline. Because, yeah, right. mm-hmm. you know, in the movie, it's like, when you have one year, it's not crazy that it would take a little longer, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Five years is a Five bit more time. Is reasonable. Um, so uh, he works with the Japanese guy, 
and they end up getting the giant factory, which how many acres was it, Frank? 475 well, also, acres. It, it shows that he was drawing in a lot of talent. Um, Alex, played by Elias Cotier, Will Alex. Um, shows up and he's like, I was an aircraft engineer. I worked on cars. I want I can make your car better. Here's the the functionality you need to make it more like friendly to the average user. Like you made it too low. Uh, the the wind is is going to be off. So everything you drew was incorrect. It's incorrect. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to help you out here because I actually think you have some good ideas. Mm -hmm. So right there, it's like yeah, he's a good engineer. He understands it. You know, he's not the best, but he understands the what it takes to he's to a young, be talented up and comer. Yeah, yeah, like you, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Well, you I also have the need... ingenuity of of Alex, <laughs> and, you and he's a, a real guy. Yeah, Brian it's a real person. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm looking at it's going to take nine months to do this. Do it in two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me it can't be done. Yeah, yeah it can't Go be. Go ahead. Done. I was going to say it. They all like it can't be. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that guy Alex. Uh, Alex. How bad is the music of this movie, by the way? Extremely distracting. It is yeah. a little distracting. Yeah. If I had to hear "Hold That Tiger" one more time, I was gonna fucking go on a shooting <laughs> it, spree. It's that was like his theme song. Like you can't contain this tiger. He can remember he came with the dogs and he was singing it to himself. <laughs> I would have felt so bad if he went on a shooting spree because of us. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't get the "Hold That Tiger" thing. Like yeah. they played the song in the beginning, and, yeah, and it's he like really annoying. It. I hate and it. then he just keeps screaming it. Yeah. And nobody joins him. No. Like he acts like it's going to be like, that's our rallying yeah. cry. And no one ever is like, okay, you're just yelling, hold that tiger. Yeah. He's like, like, we weren't there when you heard the song. We're not in on this. He's like that one crazy person in Times Square yeah. that's just screaming. <laughs> Like, oh, we're, we're in court. We're about. going. We all facing major jail time. Hold that tiger. <laughs> you can't contain what? this talent. What? <laughs> Boss? <laughs> you know, it's 125 years, right? <laughs> Hold that tiger. <laughs> if the jury broke out in a dance course, it would have surprised me in the this movie. The movie at one point, I thought it was going to become a musical. I thought I so, too. God. I thought so, too. Right? Yes, <laughs> yes. I was like, are they about to go in the song? Because they still, they were like on stage and as they're talking, it's like it's matching with the music. And it, it was like, yeah. oh Crescendo. no. I'm like, what did we get ourselves into? Yeah. <laughs> but um that that uh the guy Alex is a real dude. Alex yes. uh Tre Tremule? Trevelyan. <laughs> yeah, Alex Trevelyan, yeah. <laughs> he um he was a Cossack. Yeah. Lienz. Lienz Cossack, yeah. <laughs> he betrayed uh the double O program. Yes. And he fell to his uh death at the cradle. I gave him six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so he so he was a real person? Uh yeah, he was a real guy and he had a bunch of like design positions at various companies, you know, GM, Ford, mm -hmm. etc. Eventually became a consultant. He worked in the Air Force. Like, you know, he just kind of a car designer guy. Yeah. Just a real dude, it's worth mentioning. Yeah. Um that's it as far as he goes. So Abe wants the biggest factory in the world. I mean, Abe finds the biggest factory in the yeah, world. I don't Tucker think, wants it. I don't it. think Tucker would like it was kind of just what can we get that's available, and that was on. that's available. Right, but that you know? wasn't available. What do you mean it so, wasn't available? Well, they gave well, him like five available. choices, and then they're yeah. like, "Oh, and then there's this other thing, you know, yeah. we can't afford or we shouldn't get." And he's like, "Well, I want that. I want that one." Yeah. yeah. All right, boss, hold that tiger. <laughs> right. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the biggest building, I believe, uh, required some things. Um, big letters to put Tucker <laughs> on the side. Big Tucker. Uh, 15 million in assets, this building that he wants, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And they have to produce 50 cars in a year without a model, prototype, line built, ready, or workers is really bad decision. But they do it. They pull it and on. also another problem is where do you get 15 million in assets? You got to go By in. selling stocks. Selling stocks. stocks and dealerships. Which yeah. Pre-sales. Is, is an selling. SEC violation. <laughs> Because you're selling stock on something that doesn't exist yet. But no, it wasn't. It's not a violation. Stop saying that. They proved it in court that it wasn't a violation. It was. <laughs> but it's not. It was. It's legal. You don't even know what SEC stands for. Securities Exchange Commission. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought you had him? I thought I had him. He worked on Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> you showed him. Hold that tiger. <laughs> Hold that tiger at. <laughs> Do you know that that factory now it's still in it's still being used? It makes Tootsie Rolls. That's amazing. really yeah. It's a real building. Uh, it's yeah. It's a Tootsie Roll. I'm assuming factory. it's not the biggest you, can anymore. Can you go there? Is it? 
Yeah, you can go there. If that's wait, wait, not Hong. symbolic of where the country is and where it was. Hong. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they tore half. Fi- wait, so it's a 500 acre <laughs> no, no. factory <laughs> <dedicated>. <laughs> They They tore some of it down and half of it is a mall and the other half is the Tootsie Roll factory. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, I I'm like, wish. Which is even much, more American yeah. than just the Tootsie how Roll How many factory. Tootsie Rolls do we need that we have like a 500 acre factory? 18 trillion a day. Yeah. <laughs> There's just one guy, like, at the end of a shoot. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's just a giant one that they chop up every day. 700 people at the same time. (laughs) Do you like Tootsie Rolls? I do like Tootsie Rolls. They're okay. Yeah, what about you? I like Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Roll Pops. It's one of those candies that just, like, if it's there, I'll have one. No one's really going out of their way for it. You're not going to buy it. It's going to come in a pack of something. Right. Right. (laughs) Nobody's ever bought one. They were always given to somebody. Yeah, it's, right. it's like your grandma has in a dish. Like yeah, those, yeah. Uh, those little strawberry ones. Yeah, those just, yeah. those just appear those when you turn 70. Yeah. Like, yeah. They so just, do you want that or the cough drops? Nobody <laughs> knows who made those. They're just, they just appear. Every, you, once you hit a certain age, you get a sewing tin. Mm-hmm. And it's just, <laughs> it, gets, it gets mailed to you. Yeah. <laughs> AARP. with your art membership. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And a copy of Frampton comes alive. <laughs> okay. My samples were tied. <laughs> So as they're trying to um, raise money, they they do a lot of these cool transitions in the movie where like um, it'll kind of like pan from one scene with like Tucker sitting and then it immediately starts the next scene in like the same move almost. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like a play almost. Yeah, Yeah, I thought that that was a really cool uh, filming technique. It doesn't look bad, the movie. Like I think the movie looks good. Um, I think you're gorgeous. <laughs> you know, I lost 52 pounds. You're looking great. Yeah. I'm holding that tiger, baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I like I like what he does to kind of uh, generate some income. Like, because Tucker, if there's one thing you cannot take away from him, he's a showman. Yes. He understands oh, yeah, marketing Absolutely. and advertising. Mm-hmm. And I like when he has the meeting with the people and he starts talking about safety features. Yes. And he, he makes, makes ro- roast bloody beef. roast yep. beef. And he shows them gruesome car footage, like a high school like uh, yeah. driving class. They all get sick. Well, and yeah. He, and Abe's me. like, they're all going to hate you for this. You know that, right? He's like, nah. And they all hated him for it, but except was, one guy. No, no. What? You misunderstood the scene. Yeah. they He but was I'm shocking gonna... them into... Accepting his car safety. safety. Yeah. No, I get I get that. And, that. and it worked. Why do you not why do you always over go over the where it works part? <laughs> you do all the criticisms and then when it functions, you just pass by. It's, you go flying over. Only one guy liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Only one guy liked it. Only one guy gave him any money. And an entire room needed. of people. One guy. <laughs> but you only needed one guy. <laughs> and it cost them the whole c- company. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why is he doing this? I don't know. <laughs> if he had at least another person like it, he at least could have had a little better shot. <laughs> he made a, a room of people sick that he had to like sell an idea. <laughs> Steve, when he listens to Imagine, he, he goes, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not. And he turns the song off. <laughs> Realism only. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Aristotle over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Aristotle's realism, right? I think you're you're thinking Plato. No, Plato. I can, Republic. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> philosophy humor. Yeah, we're gonna, we're pulling that cord real I quick. I didn't know Schopenhauer was a philosopher. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's an S in Schopenhauer. <laughs> Wait, this conversation sucks. <laughs> Do you like Monty Python Freak? I've never seen anything of Monty oh, Python. Yeah. Really? I know. I, I'm always bringing shocking news whenever I come to do any of these wow. things. Wow. Yeah. Like, yeah, Python's ahead. great. I'll have to check it out. Uh, what, what What's a good starter, Python? Holy, Holy Grail? Grail? Yeah. Holy That's Grail? not my favorite, but people people will say that one. Yeah, but you like this movie, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a dreamer. In this, in this but scene, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not. In this scene also, I'm actually curious what you guys think about it. He mentions the big three and how they don't care about people's safety, which obviously is true. They don't really the care about us. Oh, I gotta um, see you. <laughs> But do you think if he doesn't say that, I don't know if that's like a real thing. I don't know if he did, but it's, I would assume he was like kind of giving them digs here and there. Well, he says that they, in the movie anyway, he says that in they the should movie. be brought up charges of manslaughter. Right. I don't know. Was that real? 
Was he that like against the big three? Because I feel like that's kind of also shooting yourself in the foot. Openly I'm sure there was about that, monopolies. Right, that level of uh, animosity towards him. I mean, he's taking them on. They're his competitors, and they are, right. they are the Goliath to his David. Yes, you know? but should you call right. out your competitors when they're that much powerful? Yeah, you know? that's how you're going to stand out. You know, it's like. It's not going to bring them down overnight. You're hoping that you're differentiating yourself and your product from them. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all doing this. Right. And look it's fucked up do. and bad. And look at this. Like, Why do you want him to play nice? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't want him. It's literally shock jockery. I was just like, who asking. Who says car salesmanship has to be nice? <laughs> no, I was asking, do you think that's... Uh, from your opinions, do you think that was like you the it, right move or should been, he have been a little think, more subtle? <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, right? do you think it would have been beneficial for him to just, hey, let's focus on what we're doing and not drag the other ones yeah. in? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Because no, I mean, because Tesla doesn't do it. still going to crush him right. Tesla just for existing. A lot I of the big companies gotta, don't do it. Look, you're not going to take Tesla them down. is backed by the richest man on the planet. That's why Tesla exists. But he also doesn't do it, though. He doesn't do that. Because he doesn't have to. If, you, if you're if you a nobody who's coming out of nowhere, you're going to swing for the fences and try and take some of the business away and criticize the other guys for what they do wrong. Hey, and Steve, you can do better. I don't mind criticize. I'm saying, like, like, he wasn't just criticizing. He was, like, almost, like, attacking. Not so much being like, hey... These cars don't have seatbelts. We do. You'll be more protected. You, he was like, they. He's like, right. they're murdering you. They're murdering. <laughs> that's. Do you, do you that's think kind if he of didn't like, do that, they wouldn't bother him? I don't know. Maybe. No. I don't know. Look, or maybe he wouldn't have gone uh, on the radar that fast, and they might not have attacked him. It, as fast. it doesn't do you any favors. I'll agree. You know. Yes. But at the same time, they're going to crush him regardless. Right. It's like sure. It's sure. like if Steve came out with an amazing solar powered car, right? Oh like, man. Like he's, he's just murdered like, already. Yeah, like <laughs> get him just walks in with a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> and it flashes his CIA badge. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Brian's like, like that, that makes so much sense. Like now. that guy. <laughs> everything makes sense now. <laughs> They're like the guy with the water car who mysteriously yeah. died. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're just not gonna let great ideas like that come and disrupt existing status quo. Existing yeah. livelihood. Yes. I get it. No, I do. Let me ask you another question. If do you think I mean part of the issue was he bought the world's biggest factory that he didn't need to do. I think we all agree on that. Yeah. Um, or at least we do. Um, <laughs> no, I agree with that. So he did not need the world's biggest factory, but he, he can get it. But here's yeah. the thing. So he grudging. the factory was in Chicago. Yeah. Most of all the car uh, manufacturing takes place in Michigan. <laughs> in Detroit. Right? Michigan? Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. So he got under the skin of that senator. Because yes. now you're going to be building cars in a different state. Mm -hmm. If he just had a factory, a smaller one in Michigan, would that have helped him? Maybe. That, 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 that senator had that to look at his constituents and yes. being out of jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once again, he's a bad businessman. And a liar. And a liar. Well, it's. I don't think, I again, I don't think. But I don't think which factory he got was really all that up to him. It's it also What was available. He also yeah. has to sell more stock to have that factory. Yes. Meaning he has he to lie more. He could factory. have gotten a smaller factory and actually made the promised cars in the same amount of time, most likely, I for agree. less asset selling. So he would have had to raise less stock and it would have raised less alarms. Less people would have complained about why they don't have their and cars. I would admit, there had to be some factory available in, in the state of Michigan. Yeah. There had to well, be. Well, it's also like I'm speculating that he wanted the flash of being able to say, I have the world's biggest factory. Yeah. Yeah. I that's, agree. And that's, that's what he bad. wanted. Not necessarily. It's, a bad move. it's probably a bad move, but. Maybe there is some cachet in being able to say that. And it's also if you're thinking about it from like the immediate optimistic perspective, right? If everything goes the way it's supposed to and it works out yeah. and you are now capable of producing these cars at a highly efficient level, you can pump them out in this giant factory. Yeah. yeah. Optimism you is know? great, you know. Every dead body on Everest was an optimistic climber <laughs> who probably didn't check the weather. Steve hates anyone who aspires. <laughs> Maybe check the weather first before being that yeah, fucking Steve's optimistic Steve's a whitey's asshole. on the moon guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you check the weather with the senator first, there's a good chance you would have made out. You, would, you didn't play ball as you should because you were not exposed to that level of big business. I understand mistakes can be made. That makes sense. We have hindsight. But I think he naively believed that the American business world was yes. on the up and up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> we have the benefit of like 80 years after this. Right. You I don't know, know though, know because better. 
he he was selling uh, like bulk turrets for these people. He has dealings and business partners and people telling him and God, uh, sure. Abe was guiding him. You know, it's right. weird. I just think he was fixated on what he wanted. And yeah, that was it. and that was it. He wasn't thinking of the bigger picture of stuff. And that's how that was. He was kind trying of to build a better mousetrap. Yeah, sure. Which is good. Yeah. Unless you're the mouse. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so his plan is to unveil the car on Wall Street in like a big thing. And he's yeah. struggling to buy materials. And this is kind of really what. He's also heavily in debt. Happened. And he well, can't pay them back. <laughs> but it's also what. Re- and this is kind of what it's rumored happened in real life. Mm-hmm. The big three went to like every steel company and all these different companies that you would need to build a car and said, I want you to charge Tucker if he tries to buy anything like two or three times as much. Oh, we'll pull our business from Exactly. So we're speculating, by the way. No, there's no proof that that ever happened. No, that's fairly obvious that it happened. I mean, is it though? Because the guy lied about everything. How could he not lie about this? No, that's that's an no. honest critique, though. And I thought it was the senator that was the one that was kind of behind yeah. him not being able to get the steel. It's clearly the union mm-hmm. of the government and the business it's both. world. Yes, yeah, coming together to crush this man. Yes, right. This, He's a problem. This is the textbook example of like corruption of yeah. crony capitalism. Yes, you know, it's like when people criticize capitalism, most times they're criticizing crony capitalism and they don't realize it. Like this is the shit that goes on that like people don't realize where it's like they have mutual interest together with. Should I open? Keep... <laughs> should, I, should I do the little? A little stir in the pot here. No, no, we don't need to <laughs> stir the pot. It's just this right. is what happens. You have, you have sometimes a symbiotic relationship of government and capitalism, which isn't supposed to happen in a true free market state, and you right. get shit like this. this yeah, is in in you know theory, everything should be you know fair and yeah. in theory, communism up. could work too. In <laughs> in practice, you, guys, <laughs> that black goo comes and infects the Spider Man suit. <laughs> Half the audience is like, oh, we get it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and next thing you know, you're doing weird dance sequences right. in yeah. the middle you're of the movie. Emo. Yeah. <laughs> They're re-releasing all of those. Okay. Re-releasing or like in the theater? Yeah. Oh, okay. You gonna go? I got tickets to all of them, yeah. <laughs> Why would you <laughs> I would have went to the first one? I love all that. They like sold out almost immediately. <laughs> if you got there. And they only showed like a minute and they didn't play anything else. Then when you complain, they show the full movie after. Would you be upset? What? what? <laughs> so like scenario? It, they just like, just make another a teaser reference. Just to get, a little to teaser, get you yeah. in the door. Just to, to get, get you in the door. For your ticket. That's what he's, I got it. <laughs> got I knew it? what he yeah. was doing. Yeah. Well, eventually they're going to show me the full movie. Oh, right? he's yeah. relating this to Tucker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but eventually they're going to show You'd probably be pissed though and complain. And then when somebody looks into it, it's like, oh no, see, we got the whole full movie. Yeah, here's the movie. Come, come see it. I mean, it's, it's weird. It's not exactly what we promised, but here it's, it is. It's there. It's there. There's definitely a man. I mean, he's not a spider. But we don't have to refund your tickets. We don't have to refund your tickets. Man. <laughs> He's just like sipping a coffee. <laughs> He's working at an office. <laughs> so my dinner with the phone's ringing. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but yeah. He's a uh, he gets the plant from the War Asset Administration. Like we said, he needs 15 million, he needs to make 50 cars in one year and Abe's like don't, don't do this. Don't do this. And he just does it. Why doesn't he listen to Abe? <laughs> like, Abe's a good guy. He knows what's up. <laughs> because he's trying to, to accomplish his dream. I get it. Yeah, I get it. You know? He's like a naysayer. Yeah. yeah. You can't have dissent like that in the ranks. <laughs> but I think Abe actually gives Shut him up, cash naysayer. to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gives him cash to make the prototype, which for, from model to prototype, Alex says, takes nine months. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And I think they had like, what three or two, like if that. So it's a it's an impossible under undertaking. It's They're a really short it window. They're not getting it done. And they end up eventually, you know, they scramble it together and they hold this big event <laughs> where they're going to unveil the Tucker at right. the factory. And they pack and what the Tucker stands. is is an old, rusted car slapped together, slapped <laughs> together and painted with parts that don't work. It's it doesn't a, run. It's not in the movie, but they called it the Tin Goose. Tin Goose. Yes. That was the nickname for the prototype. Ah. Had they met Howard Hughes yet? 
No. Oh, was okay. it like the goose that lays the golden egg? But it's made of tin. Ooh. Well, I lie. thought it's a spruce goose reference. Probably. Oh, that would make more sense. <laughs> yeah, you know, spruce oh, maybe. goose is. Yeah. It's player. definitely not a goose gossip reference. He has no. He's not. He doesn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we get them. <laughs> so uh, this this whole the Bronx is burnt. Yeah. This un <laughs> this unveiling of the car thing um, that we see is very accurate to the real event. Like it was filmed, mm-hmm. so you could actually go and watch it. And his daughter comes up and she smashes the car <laughs> and it splashes all champagne. over Jeff Bridges. Champagne, yeah. He laughs. But she doesn't th- punch the car, which no, is how you just... said it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm thinking of you and your dream. <laughs> You're ruining this family. <laughs> this is why our brother can't go to college. This fucking car. How selfish is he, though? The son comes up to him and says, I got I got to go to Yale yeah. or Notre Dame or Notre something. Dame, yeah. I don't want to go. I'm going to stay here and build the car. And he's like, good, I need you. Yeah, I'm going to rely on you, but son. That's what he wanted. But see, if he was a realist, he would be like, you know, you should go and get an yeah. education. This is my dream. Go, but it's the, go, it's go the find 40s. yours. You don't need that to like be successful in life. You it's know? the 40s. If you have a college education, you're a, pretty much an instant millionaire. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> from Notre Not Dame everybody the is 40s. supposed to go to college yeah yeah. yeah in the 40s it's like a really prestigious thing but they're designing cars because yeah, it's a real it's a real education yeah exactly not like today yeah. but it was like he didn't, they're not designing cars they're slapping together junk yeah. <laughs> It wasn't even like a discussion, though. It wasn't like, Sean, are you sure this is what you want? I want you. It was like, I don't want to go to college. Free labor. Do a co- All right, great. I need you. Get over here. Free labor. Come you know. On. He was like, I got to go help Robin Hood with my knives. <laughs> this guy is so unlikable. <laughs> yes, I like I, him. <laughs> the movie made him so unlikable. I'm but on like, his the side. movie's not trying to make him unlikable. I actually, actually like think they're trying to make up look like optimistic and happy. Right. Like, and I, even like, no. I even like that when his son comes over and is like, I don't want to college. He's like, good. I fucking hate intellectuals. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, right on tuck. <laughs> Why do we go to college? <laughs> We're going to spend money to go there and be told how to think and how to learn. We're going to be saddled with mountains of debt. <laughs> hey, but I get a pension, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, he meets with his board because he sold stock after, like, and they have to get steel. They can't. He's getting ripped steel off, so he has to meet with the senator, who is just like, "So, big three are murderers, huh? Like, that's my constituents. Go fuck yourself." <laughs> you <know? laughs> like, <laughs> and that's Lloyd Bridges. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's his dad. I uh, loved Jeff him in Bridges hot shots. <laughs> <laughs> he was so good at hot shots. I did not know that. Yeah. Wow. Isn't and isn't he is he Mandelbaum? He's Mandelbaum. Yeah. Mandelbaum. Yeah. Mandelbaum. It's go time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he came on, he goes, Hey, it's Mandelbaum. <laughs> You think you're the number one, one dad? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're better than me? <laughs> so yeah, it's clear that he's he's up against big big players and he's probably going to get destroyed. Yeah, and they know early on. He's made some enemies. Yeah. Um, you don't want to do that. Oh, so now like he they're like how do we So the board decides that they want to cut all these costs and kind of just get it done. And kind of get. They want to make an unimpressive car. They just want to yeah. get sh- anything yeah. out. They don't care. Mm-hmm. They have to sell something because and this, the original design, I think, was going to sell for four thousand. Well, that's that's another thing that's which a, they don't yeah, touch yeah. on in the movie. He originally pitched the car as a thousand dollar car, uh-huh. and he underestimated how much it would cost for all the supplies and the engines and everything, and it was going to be a four thousand dollar car, which made it a luxury car. Mm-hmm. Right. So. When you're selling stock to people and you're like, we're selling a car for a thousand, and then they're all like, yeah, great. And then it's like, by the way, we're not selling it for a thousand. Most people won't be able to afford this. That's called a bad business, man. Caveat emptor. I'm still getting <laughs> the, it's just piling up. It's piling up. <laughs> the BS that this man pulls off. <laughs> Brian with the Mike Brady defense. Yeah. <laughs> right. Buy every way. And the fuel injection doesn't work, we find out. Like they tried getting it to work and it doesn't work. 
Well, so like every time you get these like business scenes, you get a scene of them like trying to do it, and it just keeps failing and failing and failing and failing. Even you know? Henry Ford failed the first time. Of course, <laughs> of course. So they they're like, let's just send him out on like a bunch of press tours and keep him busy, mm-hmm. like just pimping the car, and we'll just get some garbage together and put it out. Right. And his wife like ends up finding out that they're cutting all these corners. Yeah, and she's third like, time she's been on the program. That actress. Really? Yes. Joan Allen? Yes. What else was she in? She's in The Crucible. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you over-promised and under-delivered. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> I was, like, was going to say Pleasantville, but I was like, wait, we didn't do Pleasantville. <laughs> <laughs> the true story. you do Pleasantville next. <laughs> right. Yeah. About Don right. not sucking teens into a, <laughs> into a black and white world. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> those, those aren't, aren't your cookies, <laughs> bud. <laughs> she is also in Nixon, so we probably will get her a third time eventually. <laughs> but um, so she goes to him and is like, "You gotta like fix this. They're trying to like ruin your dream. They ruin your car. Yeah, it's not just the car; it's his dream. They're ruining the man and his dream." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I what do you think of the Tucker jingle? What's the Tucker jingle? They have like the girls singing about the Tucker. Oh, yeah. Tucker. Oh, Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. I felt I was like, oh yeah, I like yeah it was that. cool. It was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very forties ish. Yeah, yeah. It was nice, not and thrilling, but nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> and now Howard Hughes calls them. <laughs> I don't know what. And he's a vampire man. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why is he a psycho? <laughs> well, Howard Hughes is Howard Hughes is a psycho. But in this, he's literally a vampire man. Yes. Yeah. Lives in, he lives in the dark. <laughs> he I speaks think... in riddles. <laughs> I think they He doesn't want... look anyone in the yeah. eye. I think they wanted to continue. But he hands out secret industrial Steel information. Steel information <laughs> and helicopter engines at low, low cost from Cuba. <laughs> It's a, he's like Crazy Eddie. Yeah. What is happening? Tucker, I want you to destroy my enemies. <laughs> I have an idea to film a movie uh, where John, John Wade, Wade is Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is pre-killing yeah. John Wade. He hasn't killed John Wade yeah. yet. Yeah. You ever see The Conqueror? No. <laughs> it's garbage. Oh, is it? Howard yeah. Hughes made this movie where John Wayne plays Genghis Khan. Oh we that God. himself should say it all. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Was it better it, than this? It's actually re- like really it's painful. It's bad. one of the worst things I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I'll check that out. It's like mystery science theater could do Oh, it. it's that bad. Yeah. It's okay. fun to watch for like a minute and then it's like, and oh, I just want it to be over. Yeah. I didn't realize ever, half the cast died of radiation poisoning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they filmed it where they tested H bombs. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So that's why John died. Yeah, they're at like Los <laughs> Alamos. John. <laughs> so this guy is taking advice from Hughes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. One crazy person talking to another. But yeah. I think that's why he's lit like that and Kindred shot spirits, so weird. Right? That they're like, how do we convey that like Hughes is fucking nuts? <laughs> so they light him like a vampire. That's a good point. And yeah. it's also practiced for when he does Bram Stroker in like a couple of years. <laughs> Bram Stroker. Bram Stroker. That's the Dracula. porno parody. What? Bram Stroker's Dracula. Stoker. What did I say? Stroker. Stroker, said Stroker twice. <laughs> Bram Stroker. <laughs> The porn parody. Yeah. yeah, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> so obvious yeah. and great. <laughs> Is it a gay porn? Why yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why <Brian> Stroker? <laughs> Still a better storyline than this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so now they're testing the car. And they're at the Indianapolis 500. Yeah, they put a where, helicopter in. Which is yeah. where they do real tests for the car. Yes. And, yeah, they bought a helicopter engine. Which is impressive that they got that to work. I mean, the, is. the car is working. You can't yeah. dispute it. They also, I don't know if they touched upon this in the movie, but for this to work, they had to change the cooling system. Yep. They had to have water cooling. Okay. Which is, I don't know if where they got it. I don't know if they took it from another piece or something, but that's what they had to do. What is the current work. cooling system in a car? I honestly don't know. Piss. Yeah, yeah. You piss in Coolant. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Anti- not. I'm not. Do a, you know, Frank? Yeah, I think it's Anti- like freeze. mostly like water cooler. Okay. Yeah, because the sure. radiator. Because you can put radiator yeah. fluid in a car. You can do half radiator, half water. Okay, so this is. I guess if he's doing water cooling, it has to be a little ahead of the time, right? Yeah. I think it existed already. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure. They just. I don't think it exists. I think. I don't know if it existed in cars with engines in the back. 
Okay. Frank, as a car guy, what are your thoughts on the headlight thing? I didn't I didn't like the way it looked. I thought it was a great idea because mm-hmm. I actually went and looked at videos to see real tuckers and how that headlight turns and mm-hmm. everything. And it's great. I mean, it was a precursor to like what we have now, like in these luxury cars where the actual headlights Moves. turn. Mm-hmm. So Wait, really? it's a great idea. Yeah. Like new BMWs and stuff. If you turn the wheel, the bulb inside the um the housing will turn and light up the side. I didn't know. So that, that's a feature that we still have. The pop-out windshield and the safety glass, those are all features we have now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a good engineer. He was, we was, haven't said I will it. not the, deny it. Great ideas, the, yes. Yeah. It had a third headlight in the center of the front of the yes. car. Yeah. And that would ro- that would turn with the wheel of the car so that yeah. as you turn, you it would light up where you're going. So you don't yeah. accidentally hit something right. in a blind spot. Yeah. Which is awesome because it was the way it was built was the two headlights, regular ones, would be on. And as soon as you turn the wheel just about 10 degrees, the third headlight would turn on and it would light up the area. And then once you turn the steering wheel back, that middle headlight would shut off. Oh, really? Yeah, so, so that was really on. a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't on all the time. It saves battery. Yeah. That was another problem, the battery yep. power. Yeah, we didn't 12 touch volts. Upon that. Yeah. yeah. They needed multiple batteries. Oh, really? The battery that they needed to get this car to work did not exist. So they needed to add powerful. more. So yeah. They had two. He said it. They, two they truck batteries. Two truck batteries together. To which power is the thing. double the risk of problems. Well, and part, well, another problem with this particular vehicle is it took so much power and energy to start it that these batteries had a hard time starting it. You would have to plug it into an outlet to actually get it started. That's why. It's a proto Tesla. Yeah. D- yeah. During <laughs> the. Whenever they were showing these cars, they would start them and then not turn them off because oh, they yeah. didn't want the people to see how hard yeah. they were to start. Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, everybody's asphyxiated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little showmanship. Smart, yeah. smart. <laughs> it's smart. But uh, so they're doing these tests and they're Tucker's going. A, he made himself immune to that, to fix it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Early in As a young man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, this is real. They tested the car on the track, just driving around as fast as they could. 24 hours or something. Yeah, like an insane amount yeah. of time, like the car was going around. And it reminded me of this time my friend, he went to the dealership and him and the um, oh, the no. guy, when they were test driving the car, mm. they wanted to see how far they could go no. without filling it up. <laughs> really? Yeah. And they just kept driving and driving and driving until the car ran out of gas. Did it like get dark or anything? It got night, yeah. They were driving like forever. <laughs> Yeah. And eventually he just died on the highway. My friend just got out and walked yeah. away and he left the guy there. <laughs> it needs it, Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite episodes of the whole show. That that episode? Yeah. The dealership? Yeah. I love the Johnson Rod. Johnson Rod. Yeah. <laughs> the Twix. Twix! <laughs> I like Rusty. The uh, my favorite episode. Rusty! You're talking about Seinfeld, yeah. right? Uh, oh, yeah. Is the um, Handsome Cab episode oh, that's my great. favorite? Oh, that's great. Beef Beef yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Pepitone. He's yeah. the one who invented the Central Park. <laughs> God damn it. But um, so as as they're this is really what happened as they're testing mm-hmm. the car, it crashes at 95, 94 miles per hour, flips and rolls. So that roll was real. That yep. roll is one hundred percent real. You can see the testing footage online. That's sick. Um, because they were filming the whole thing, and the window pops out, all this stuff, and the car kept driving, just like in the movie. Really? So like all of his safety features. And the guy didn't die. The guy mm-hmm. didn't die. Mm-hmm. He was totally fine. Everything mm-hmm. worked as yep. it was supposed to, and the car kept driving. Mm-hmm. And that we're talking. I guess we should probably mention these are steel framed cars, as we mentioned. So those are a lot more sturdy. I don't think many, I don't know how many cars are actually made like that anymore. I don't think many. Five. They're all like five. <laughs> yeah, like five in the world. They're all like plastic, <laughs> like polymer shit. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. made to, to, to break. break apart. Yeah. yeah. Is that better? It's better for the occupant. Because the yeah, car yeah. is what takes the brunt of the force, not the occupant okay. inside. You won't be f- bashed into steel walls. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I guess it's lighter, right? Because these cars were looking at, you know, three to 4,000 pounds because it's steel. Oh, it's all steel. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, must yeah. burn through more. You have to right. burn through more gas. And yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. This is really fuel efficient at the time. Because I think they said it gets 20 miles to the gallon. Uh, yeah, that's wild. Was it 20? I believe they said that. Uh, maybe I'm just making. I had. I used to own a classic Cadillac. I had a 1959 Cadillac, uh-huh. and that thing got 12 miles to the gallon. 12. 12. Wow. Was that just like huge? Was that a boat? It was 22 <laughs> feet long. Wow. <laughs> Barely fit my garage. <laughs> look up. Look up how much an M1 Abrams gets mile per gallon. 
<laughs> I thought it was fake when I heard it. Was it like four? You know the answer already? What? Watch. 0. 0.6 miles per gallon. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what is it? It's a, a tank. tank. It's a tank. Oh, it's a tank. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But that's just to give you an idea of hauling weight, mm-hmm. how much that costs. So, wow. Yeah. Do you, how many cars do you have currently, Frank? Uh, I just have three now. Oh, okay, the DeLorean and like two regulars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I sold the the Cadillac to to buy the DeLorean. Makes sense. What was Biff's car? Biff was a nineteen thirty something Ford Deluxe, nineteen thirty two Ford. Yeah, <laughs> the one that was all manure filled. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> manure. I hate I hate manure. manure. <laughs> but it must. It has to be. It's an older car at that point. If it's a thirties car, right? Because yeah. it's the fifties. Yeah. It's a classic car. So to jump back this in. This is a man here, of uh, taste. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to jump back in. I like in, this uh, taste in women. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you'll be my wife. <laughs> That's how I got Mary. Yeah. <laughs> I forced her into marrying me. Uh, the it's chairman. meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a romantic. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, tell us how you met mommy. <laughs> well, she was buying a dress and I came up behind her in the street in a costume. <laughs> Did you whip it out? No, that was later. <laughs> a few hours. Few hours later. Uh, the chairman finds out that Tucker's building his new model, the model he wants at, at yeah. least. And he's like, fuck you, you're not. Like, no. And that causes uh, shit to go downhill for, for Tucker now. Yeah, and like now the, the government is like, this car is effective. The board is like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. And Full court press. Yeah, now everything... It's Everyone is apart. conspiring yeah. against him. Mm-hmm. The government's after him. They were sending like secret agents like around his press events in the factory yeah. to like gather yeah. information. Yeah, he had they were like moles. Yeah. <laughs> like taking pictures yeah. and stuff of the failures. And you know, it's like we want this man destroyed. Yeah. And and I like this scene where Abe goes to him and is like, I gotta get away from this. Like, <laughs> like you know, I'm a con. I'm like an ex-con. <laughs> like, you're gonna go down. Like, I'm like I'm sad this happened. I was rooting for you. I caught your dream. But now I'm going to flee the sinking ship. Yeah. (laughs) The captain goes down with the ship, not the the mate. Not the rats. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, right. (laughs) And the SEC uh, comes after him. Do you know what the SEC is in football? What's that? I believe it's the Southern Eastern Conference, Southeast Conference. Oh, that sounds right. It's good to know. I believe you. I don't don't know if I should. (laughs) Southeastern Conference. Yeah, there you go. Who's in there? Who's in that? Yeah. I believe that's uh, all the teams in the southeast. <laughs> you brought it up, so you have to. Know. <laughs> I'm not a college the bu- sports the fan. I, Panthers, oh, it's college. Is yeah, it Panthers. Are gators. Gators. I, no, I think it's like. There's um, some other animals in the south. Some of like the armadillo. Like <laughs> <laughs> Lizard. It's a manatee. <laughs> so. We also find out that Tuck <laughs> likes to drink and drive. Who doesn't? I mean, that's that's the he's a man of leisure. That's the style <laughs> of the time. in the middle of his factory. Yes, <laughs> which I gotta say, I respected. I respected that moment. I was like, yeah, okay. Um, I like when the paper has the news before, like he's actually like yeah. busted because yep. they were that tipped off him. by the government. That saved them. Yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's still media's still evil, government's still evil. Shocking. <laughs> so, um, I like when he wants to test the car out. Mm-hmm. So he like drives by these cops and he like turning himself in. Right. Yeah. Well, he purposely made a show. Yeah, it's yeah. to like let, get the public. Like, look, I have the car at work. It's but, here, and right. I can outrun the police with zero consequences for it. Right. <laughs> Much like I've done since the beginning of the film. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there, were, there, there might not have even been speeding laws on the books. Of course there were. Let's see. When they go you, after him for speeding. When yeah. do you think the first speeding law is? Uh, 1921. That's my guess. 1901. <laughs> That early. Okay. Holy Jeez. shit. Is there, is there even like a car? Want, it's five. Do you want to know? How <laughs> no, fast five. you were going? Yeah. Six? The same five that are made of steel today. <laughs> I The number is so low. Number of cars? No, the speed limit. Isn't it like 10? 
It's 12 miles yeah. per hour in cities and 15 miles per hour on country roads. Yes. You could jog faster. Well, I mean, in the cities, you're sharing the road with literally horses. millions horses. of pedestrians, horses, horses and their shit, and, and trolleys. Yeah. 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 And <laughs> Staten Island today, it's 25. Really? Yeah, it's Driving not Driving around Staten Island yeah. is like hell on earth. Oh, yeah, the speed cameras get camera you every 10 seconds. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, it used to be 40 in the major roads, and they moved it down to like 30, and they just put speed cameras up and just take it everyone. Yeah. yeah. You should just send them a picture of money, you know, <laughs> right, if you get yeah. caught. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Damn authoritarian bastards. <laughs> I'm a Tucker man now. Yeah. <laughs> He's radicalized. <laughs> oh, no, I still hate the government. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. But I also don't think he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now it's the whole trial. This was a long... It felt I thought the trial yeah. kind of I went stopped watching quick. the movie at this point. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll say this. Both it, times. <laughs> yeah. and Brian, you're, you're a film guy, and I think this is kind of a sin of film that they, ju- they do here. They recap what we already know. Um, well, they're presenting it through the legal lens. lens. Yeah. But they don't present anything that we don't already know. I, I don't think... I, don't, I didn't like that. I don't think it's a sin the way they're doing it, because they're kind of... You it's know, necessary. You have to it state is. the case and what the arguments are yeah. for each side, but not the whole thing because we know we know Tucker's side already. Like, do we do we really need? Like, yeah, he could argue it, but we don't need like the recaps of the prosecutor like telling us what we know. Like, it's I, I don't know. It felt it felt long. I th- actually thought the trial moved pretty quick. What about you? You I, like trial, I kind of see both sides of this argument. The oh, scene yeah. didn't bother me personally, but I could see how someone would be bored by it. It's not exciting. It's not, and there's no new information. No, right. right. It's yeah. It is just recapping. It's kind of just stalling as we're like cutting back and forth with Christian Slater and the other dudes finishing the cars. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's really kind of more the point. Like Mm -hmm. as they're doing this, they're still finishing the cars. Right. right. Um, And they finish the cars, and in the real court case, um, the defense never made a case. Yes, they went straight to closing arguments. They went straight, straight to, to closing, closing statements. Arguments. Yeah, they, they were mm-hmm. like, we everything that we needed to say has right, already yeah. been said. We don't need to like call up witnesses or anything like that. In the movie, Tucker gives this speech. The JFK right. speech. Yeah, basically. Yeah. About like the American dream and right. biz, crony capitalism, all this shit. In real life, Tucker uh, wrote a statement like to the mm-hmm. press, and, mm-hmm. and that was kind of like his uh, final thing. In the end, he's proven not guilty. No crimes have been committed, but Mm -hmm. the government still seizes his factory just because. Yeah. Then fucking they ruin his business and life. And he's not mad about it at the end of the movie, which annoyed me to no end. Like, dude, what the fuck? Uh, He's like, I'm going to build a refrigerator. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he's a a true optimist. Um, He's like, Henry Ford failed the first time. I'm going to fucking do it again and even better. Um, and just like in the movie, all the the uh, jurors and everybody went outside and saw the cars and drove Tucker's and drove around. that Tucker's around, proving that they're real and they exist. Mm-hmm. Um, fifty one were made, fifty one, including the prototype. And supposedly, the ones that are still around for I think forty eight or forty seven of them. No, five. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down, <laughs> but they're still um, like they still work. Like oh yeah, like they were seven of them still exist, and wow. they still yeah. run very well. Supposedly, apparently George Lucas has one. George yep. Lucas had two. He sold one. Wasn't there a push to like start remaking those? Somebody yeah, somebody uh, has a, a retro one. Some guy out of Florida makes them. Yeah, people huh. have tried to make them. Um, after the movie, uh, he started talking to uh, the president of Brazil, Tucker. And they invented this new car company called the uh, Caracau, something like that. And he was going to go to Brazil and design like yeah. th- a car for them. Yeah. He ended up, so Tucker, when he went down there, the travels, uh-huh. it turns out he ended up getting really sick from it. That's kind of. He got lung cancer yeah. and he died. He oh, started getting God. really fatigued and then they found out it was cancer. Yeah. yeah, that was the end of his dream. But he was. <laughs> he died young. 53? <laughs> the end of the man. <laughs> and in the dream. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he never built a fridge. In the movie, mm-hmm. when they show him designing a fridge, I was like, did Tucker design a fridge after or something? <laughs> I looked that up, too. I was yeah, like, no, no, there's no information a, about it. He opened a, it up and had three headlights. <laughs> <laughs> the they move when you reach in. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just a button for the movie. But um, yeah. that's that's really it about Tucker. Uh, kind of the story of a guy who was crushed by big business and the government. And, and himself. And, yeah. <laughs> you have to blame him, too. You have to blame him, too. I'm not going to blame him. You got to blame him, too. <laughs> well, he made mistakes. They, now, the government and the big guys definitely capitalized and knew how to capitalize on those mistakes. All right, let me ask you a question. Intensely, but let me ask he you made a question. mistakes. Yeah. If the government and the other businesses do not go after him, do you think that the company is able to produce the cars that he promised eventually? I think he would have produced 50 cars, he would have sold them, and he actually would have failed producing what he promised. So you don't think he never would Why? have completed? I don't think so. I don't think he had the, the, the actual output uh, capacity for it. And I also don't the biggest factory in the world, <laughs> right? But it, it took him how long to produce those cars in real in reality? Like it took him a long time. He got them made under the deadline. Was it? I don't know. Oh, I'm talking yeah. about real. yeah. He had to produce 50 cars by a certain date, and he beat the deadline. Yeah, but what was his promise? It wasn't 50 cars. But that was it was like 100 cars a day. His promise. It was like insane. But he needed 50 by a certain date, so then he could ramp up production. Right and and produce higher more you know people. people yeah right but this is a man who was constantly promising more than he could deliver so he's gonna say oh we could do a hundred cars oh we could do a thousand cars a day oh we could do ten thousand cars you a day. eventually keep he's blatantly fail. saying he's promising more than he can deliver but he keeps delivering <laughs> but, but he not. makes he the promise and then he delivers yeah he only had to do it once yeah but like he didn't. <laughs> but he did. But he did it. Well, the last eleven cars though were made by employees who for worked for free. Yeah. Worked yeah. for free, yeah. and yeah, you know, like well, that's, he not, was, that's not a successful man. They did come and <laughs> shut him down. Like you know, that's the thing. What I'm asking is, if there was no outside interference, if you think that could the company have succeeded? could the company yeah. have succeeded? That's my real question. Could it have? Yes. Would it have? Probably not because of him. Okay. What do you think, Frank? I kind of, I kind of agree. Yeah. You know, I, think I think he would have drove it into the ground no matter what. It's just that I think if his... he stepped away from it, so you just... think it was doomed to fail because of him? Because of Tucker. Yes. yes, I think because of his choices and he had too much like say in everything that was going yes. on. He was a dreamer, yeah. and then he was just like, "I want this, just make it happen." And it's like we can't make this in happen. the real world. He's a great CTO. He's not a good CEO. That's that's the I reality. Don't want a CTO. Chief Technology Officer. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he's I, not a good chief executive officer. He's I not think, the guy who should be in charge. I think we'd all be driving Tuckers today. <laughs> I think it would have failed just like all those other. We all would have dreams all style cars of the man. <laughs> I love Tucker. I think he's great. I'm with you. <laughs> Hold that tiger. <laughs> Did it make me hate the government more? I probably can't hate the government any more than I do. I, I think I hit my peak. <laughs> but, you know. That's it. You know, uh, let's right, rate so it. Let's rate it. It's time to rate it. Brian, what'd you give this? I'm going to give this a seven. That's high. It's fine. <laughs> That's high. I enjoyed it. Um, about you? You know, I'll never watch it again, but all for right. what it was, I thought it looked great. Techni technically, I liked all that. I thought there were some really well done transitions throughout the movie. I thought it was acted pretty well. Um, I'll probably never watch it again, but the one time I watched it, it was cool, and I had no clue about any right. of this. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six. Get a little. Okay. I like the movie. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it per se, other than a few little music choices and things like that. But it's just not my kind of story that I'm all that interested in. Yeah, but that's oh. that's just where I'm at. But I liked it. I like Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I gave it a five. It's it's a watchable movie. The story when you read about it is interesting. Um, I. I think it could have been done way better. I think it gave us some spirited conversation. I think it yeah. gave good conversation, yeah. Yes. But that's just us. That That's not reflective of the movie. Are you um, just think we're that fucking good? We're just that good. <laughs> I think Frank brought it out of us. <laughs> it's me? It's my yeah. Uh, yeah, same thing. I wouldn't, wa I wouldn't watch this again. I, I have no interest in this. It's it's Frank. okay. It's just an okay movie. What is your scoring thing? It's out of well, it's zero. It's one to ten. Zero to one ten. to ten. Yeah, ten I, I, I would say it was probably a three in my opinion. Uh, I just wow. didn't like it. I didn't even like, like, you know how they had like the, somebody was on the phone. And they had the split screen. With the I phone. love that. I hate, I even wrote a note about it that says this is <laughs> this is shit. I can't believe that they're doing this again. I hate split screens when making phone calls. I just didn't like it. I just 
I didn't like the core. I liked, I, liked, yeah. I liked that how they showed wow. like it's like one set with uh, them in the middle. You know? I didn't buy that, but that's really funny. Someone should cut it and bring in another one. Yeah, you got, give me you the got crotch yourself. deodorant commercial, please. Really that, that old <laughs> SNL bit where Saddam is on the phone with Monica Lewinsky. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Frank, one qu- which movie did you like better that we did? Oh, this uh, one. Oh, the, the, driven. The DeLorean one. Okay. Yeah, that one's a better. It's as good as Easier to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were both failed car companies. Yeah. You know? They were both dreamers ahead of their time, and they both hit mm-hmm. sketchy businesses where they that were That the selling. government went after. Yeah, yeah. But I could sit through the DeLorean one, not just because I own it, but it was a better story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, similarities between those two, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't wait for the Musk movie in like 30 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I kill here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it this is uh, the fucking hated it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> Would you buy a cyber truck, Frank? Um, you know what? I I think they're really cool looking. There's a lot of little issues with them, and like you know, they're, I think the lowest base is like seventy grand for yeah, one. They're, I they're think they're great for taking on the Covenant. <laughs> 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 they look like they're from a video game. From Halo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a warthog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd buy a Cybertruck. Probably not. I don't want anything. I don't want my vehicles running on electric. I don't. I'm not confident with that. I just hate paying for gas. So (laughs) (laughs) you have to pay for electric anyway. I have solar panels, so I really my electric bill is like nothing every month. You get no money for gas. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Charging a car might increase that, but. Hey. Not not that much, probably. No, let's look into let's it. Let's yeah. look into it. Maybe, maybe we got to uh, start a GoFundMe Listeners, for buy me, cyber buy truck. Me, yeah. a cyber buy truck. me a cyber truck, <laughs> and I will let you know what happens to my electric bill. I promise. It's a test. Speaking of, this is our 100th episode? No, this is our 101st. Oh, we, passed, mind. we passed 100. Well, I wanted to thank... Um, we'll do it at the 100th. <laughs> we're recording the 100th in like oh. a second. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, Frank's, Frank's <laughs> at the start of the next of the new era. The new, yeah. Well, thank you. The next hundred. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Frank, what do you think of my sketch for this episode? What do you think that is? I think it's supposed to be a truck, or it's supposed to be the car. <laughs> yeah, it's right. It yeah. looks like an inflated penis. <laughs> That's what it looks like. My drawings tend to come out that way. Phallic. Really? Yeah. yeah I'm it's just a like man wild. with a dream. <laughs> and there's no door. Well, the dream is getting in it because yeah. there's no doors. <laughs> a, lot of Freud, a lot of Freud stuff going on with Brian's drawings. Yeah. <laughs> Why does your car have veins? Because <laughs> it's like a penis. The, that's the cool ridges on the Tucker. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, that you, doesn't look like anything. You know what, I don't this, know what that is? This looks like a cartoon piece of ham. <laughs> oh with, yeah, you know what I'm talking about with like some yeah! circles, with some bone in it. Yeah, yeah, with some circles. <laughs> with the like the checker. Pattern. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Cartoon this is, ham. This is not a car. <laughs> God. The big bad wolf looked at a <laughs> sheep and it turned into Brian's drawing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's it. That's it, boys. Uh, Frank, you got anything you want to plug? Tell them where to find you. No. Tell them Steve. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't have Twitter me. anymore. I'm yeah. not on the internet. Um, tell them Steve Dave Patreon, right? Oh, yeah. Tell them Steve Dave Patreon. We still do uh, you know, TV guys, TV guys. So for for now. Yeah, yeah for now. Guys. And yeah, check them out. <laughs> the board game show, right? Board game yeah, show. Maybe, uh, yeah. Maybe up here and there. But yeah. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So What happens on the board game show? We play it's board brand games. new. Yeah. Oh. It's TSD game night. Oh. So uh, the concept of that is it's a two on two. It's Walt and Bry against two like TSD town residents. And uh, if Walt and Bry win, there's no like they payout, playing? just different games yeah, for listeners. Play yeah. for Are listeners. You I have not been invited yet. I'm hoping. <laughs> you're not a resident, but you're just a visitor. I'm a resident. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm no like a Jimmy the Hair Guy or Frank Five. I'm going to put this out there. Well, <laughs> you came up with me. We're going to fuck shit up. Oh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> if I'm on, we're going to win. <laughs> I don't lose it, things. But um, I never lose. <laughs> other than life, I, I never lose. But uh, so other than everything. Yeah. So the two um the two residents who play against Walt and Bry, they play for a listener who doesn't have Patreon, and if they win, that listener gets a free year of the Patreon. Wow! So it's That's actually fun. a decent That's value. Fun. Yeah, it's stakes, cool. high stakes. Mm-hmm. Steak. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, for listening. 
that whole spiel. I'm excited for the next 100. Yeah, I say bye. Oh, sorry. Uh, bye. I was playing with the egg. Where are you getting an egg? Don't worry about Can it. Can I see that egg? Easter bunny. <laughs> nope. Come on, let me see that egg. Nope, you're going to take it, it away from I'm me. not going to take it away. You're going to steal his dream like the cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's the SEC. Uh, yeah. Give me the fucking egg. <laughs> <laughs> the SEC is the studio's egg commissioner. <laughs> Steve egg commissioner. Steve egg collector. <laughs> Want to give a big thank you to everybody listening and or watching. We greatly appreciate it. Want to give a big thank you to Tom, Steve, Dave, Brywall, Q, Gam, Lance Record down in the studio. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Follow us on all social media. Our View History Pod on Twitter. Reviewing History Pod everywhere else. Follow me personally on all social media. At Brian Rupert, that's with two Ps. Follow me on Letterboxd. I rank and review every single movie I watch. I have a big list ranking every single movie we've watched for the show. How big? Uh, I think it's like 78 movies, something like that now. Wow. So uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Keep on dreaming. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm just curious.